Okay, hi. So today I'm doing a recommendations video specifically on interconnected short stories. Now, the definition I have for this is fairly loose because I think that you could look at it in multiple ways. You can look at it as a novel, like a novelization that's told in like well-rounded stories that connect usually chronologically and then you can look at it as a short story collection that has interconnected or interwoven pieces. For me sometimes how much I enjoy the book is based on uh, how it was marketed to me. So as an example uh, I read or I tried to read and I ended up DNFing the book American Visa. Um, and I think it's because I had expected it to be a novel and it really more read like sh like short stories of moments in someone's life where you kind of just touch in and you see this fleshed out part of life and then you move on to the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing. Um, so I have eight books that I'm going to talk through and we'll just get started. So the first one is Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, and this is the one that I think taught me that I like this type of um, literary format. So essentially, Cloud Atlas is a hard book to try to sum up, um, but it starts in the 1700s, and there it starts with a first chapter, and it's written in a specific format, and a style and then it kind of cuts off and it goes into a next story and the next story and the next story um, but it also then follows back through on those stories so the first book or the first story that it opens up with is the last one that you end up with or end up reading and uh, it kind of connects on the back end. Everything starts to connect together. Uh, this one I really love because of the wide variety of stories and people you're following. It also has just an incredible difference in writing and tone and structure um, depending on each section, which I just think is something that not many writers could actually achieve, changing your style of writing so drastically. Um, and so this is a very popular book um, that you've probably heard of, but it's what got me into this, so I'm adding it to the list. Okay, the next one is I, Robot by Isaac Asimov. This is more a short story collection. So the foundations of robot robotics there's three laws of robotics that this short story collection kind of operates on and you see moments of issues with robots or like something is going wrong and like they might think that one of the laws is being broken uh, and then they kind of solve things through the use of the laws so i really like science fiction like that where um, you know isaac asimov took a concept that at the time that he wrote it, and even now, isn't totally like well understood, but he created his own laws around it. And then that was used to move the narrative, and he kept going back to his laws. And you kind of see the robotics change through time, and the technology of robots change through time. I thought this was really cool. I love kind of old sci-fi like this, where um, it, it's uh, it kind of borders on the edge of fantasy in some way because, you know, they were thinking past the technology that existed. So another one I would recommend. Next one is And the Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini. I loved this book. It's been a while since I read it, so it'll be harder for me to sum up. But, um, and, and this one reads more like a novel than short, a short story collection. But each part kind of focuses on a person or people in a moment in time and succinctly wraps itself up and then moves on to the next part where it introduces characters and pulls ties back into the previous sections and uh, it's just really beautifully and intricately woven um, and I yeah I just really love this book when I read it and I would uh, recommend it on this list. Okay, another one that is m more 
like seen as a novel, but I think falls into this format, which is very famous, is The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. This is a war novel. Um, it's set during the Vietnam War. I've read it a few times, so it's been a few years since I read it. And um, it it's kind of just like bringing you into moments um, that these soldiers face instead of telling like this true narrative through it's kind of like picking moments and this is something i guess i keep coming back to and is a theme of what i consider interconnected uh it's not this chronological telling of an event it's like m impactful moments in time or excerpts or like short shorter moments that it, they you see the characters going through um and so I think that some people maybe have a prejudice against like short stories or interconnected short stories, but the idea that that's like a specific box that an author lives in or a book lives in, I think, I think I'm just trying to say that that line is fairly blurred. Okay, I swear I have some on here that short story collections that read more like interconnected, but we're not to them yet. The next one is 10 minutes and 38 seconds in this strange world by Alif Shafak. This is a story that is, again, told in moments. It's told in like succinct moments that wrap up. And it's about, essentially about this woman who is a sex worker and she is murdered. This happens at the beginning of the book and the 10 minutes and 38 seconds are like the time that she is like her her brain is still like alive as she's dying, uh, essentially. And you you flash back to impactful moments in her life, uh, moments with family, moments with friends, some that were good, some were that were bad, and you kind of see what led to how the way her life looked at that time and uh, the the impact that her death has. Next one, and this one is more sold as a short story collection, is Night of the Living Res by Morgan Talty. Tally? Talty. This is a collection that takes place all on the same, same native reservation in Maine, and it follows, it kind of bounces back and forth between two, two narratives, um, although each story feels like a story in itself. Um, you're following this young boy, David, as he's growing up, like instances he has, family dynamics, like the cyclical pattern of how your life develops. Something I also miss here is that it's really uh, exploring in his narrative a loss of innocence as you see him age through these short stories. And then we're also following another storyline where uh, of this a uh, guy who is um, kind of, I guess, in his 20s and in kind of the throes of drug addiction and uh, him and like this friend that he has just like not growing up, getting fucked up, doing drugs um, and like the fraught relationships that they have with the people around them or the lack of relationships that they have. And then in the end, you kind of see how these two storylines converge in some capacity. Um, and, and I thought that that convergence was really powerful. And I thought that it was interesting because this is sold as a short story collection and that takes place all on the same reservation. And so um, I was envisioning like just a bunch of people's lives that you were hitting on within this community. And uh, it's really much more connected than that. Okay, the last one on the list is Tales of the Takongs. This is like Night of the Living Res, very much takes place all in the same community. Uh, and this is kind of what I was more expecting Night of the Living Res to be like. And it's essentially, it takes place on an island in the Pacific. Um, I believe it's, a, it's not a real island. It has like a sarcastic sense of humor to it. And uh, it, it talks a lot about, uh, like thematically, there's a lot about colonialism and uh, community and culture and kind of like the loss of culture in some capacities and like the clashing of their culture and uh, colonizers. Each story kind of focuses on like one person and you see like events, an event that happens with that person or 
uh, and something, a lot of them are lighthearted, a lot of them are kind of jokey and funny. It's, it's a little tongue in cheek and it can like, I think it can border on the edge for some people of like what you would taste wise, what you would enjoy. Uh, and it just keeps having this one character like randomly show up in most of the stories as like, not really as like a kind of just like as a nod, like we're all in the same community um, and they play some very minor role in each story. Um, but that's all I have for this video. I would love to hear your recommendations of books that fall into this category, narratives or short story collections, um, because I really enjoy formats like this. Uh, and, and would love to read more. So uh, let me know down in the comments and until next time, happy reading. Mm -hmm.